Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Shen. I want to talk about something. Waiting on God. There is a time for everything. A time to be born. A time to harvest. A time to plant a seed. A time to wait. God has His timing and He knows when to execute His plan. No one can thwart what He has decreed. What He has purposed, it shall stand. His word will not fall to the ground. Though it delays, wait for it. And also in our waiting, Let's exercise our faith. So will we be found faithful in the season of wait? Or will He find us unworthy of His grace? Friends, I love the story of Joseph and I know you do as well. How he was waiting for his dreams to be fulfilled. It took long, but the Lord was preparing him. So guys, my brothers and sisters, be encouraged. If the Lord told you that He will do something, take His word and trust Him. So exercise your faith in your waiting, in moments of sorrow and sadness. Look up to Him. Lift your head and look up into the sky and remind yourself that he is worthy of your trust do not waver but believe do not doubt but trust trusting believing and praising him should be your armor in times of doubt and fear so friend, do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. He will never fail you. Also, this thought came to mind. Sometimes, in our down times, we focus on negativity and we are impatient. What if this? What if that? How long, you ask? This kind of attitude, we are not trusting. Remember the Israelites? They were always in disbelief. And they, were, they were always testing God. But Caleb, Caleb, I mean, had a different spirit. He believed that he would possess the land. He took God at His word. So friends, which side are you? Are you going to display faith like Caleb? Or are you going to be like the Israelites? Oh, let us be steadfast in our waiting. In times of sadness, look up into the heavens and give your full trust. The Lord knows, so be still. Being still is not hard, but we complicate things. If the Lord says so, then stand on it. If the Lord says wait, then wait. I think sometimes we forget. So it's better if you write down so you remember. You know, I do have journals and when something is very important, and when the Lord confirms His will, I write it down. I write down the date, the time I wrote it. So if you're always forgetting, maybe write it down. That's it for now, my brothers and sisters. Have a wonderful day and have a wonderful evening. Glorify God in your life and seek Him always. 
Shalom. After this one, my friends, and it comes through Jesus Christ and Jesus alone. Whatever you're following, if you're not 100% sure what you're following in life is the right way, then my friends, you Say something, guys. It's Easter. Say Happy Easter. <laughs> we must have the righteousness of Jesus Christ if we want eternal.